never got past the second round of this event. Hoping to do that here, she'll get this matchup underway against Coco Goff. My name's Pidotras. I'll talk you through this encounter. Saka, who won the toss and elected to serve first. to the line. Off. I talked about how special this event is for Azaka. Probably made even more so the fact that she's got her dad back on her coaching team or as the main coach. She said she uh, will give him that title. be a key tactic today for Osaka go hard and deep into the forehand of Goff which is the, the side where well, she can hit a lot of winners from that wing and is the side that will often leak a few more unforced errors big take back That's a big serve from Osaka so really confident hold to start this second round encounter off and she talked about Getting her dad back as coach because he is someone it's who makes Corey. her think outside the box. She's Coco Goff's dad. Low 15. Saka said about the improvements that Goff has made recent years for me she strengthened her strengths in particular the surf has got even bigger on yesterday 128 miles per hour Done. Always had great hand skills and touch. Everything she broke out onto the, the WTA tour as a 15 year old. Second server has improved this year as well. The numbers. most yesterday is probably the, the thing that's mentioned the most when it comes to Coco Goff and that's her athleticism her movement and even she said after the match she said you know, she was amazed with how well she was moving against Kalanina Challenge today for Osaka. Can she get Goff off balance or even off the court? Game oh, no. Relatively slow, sir. 99 miles per hour. Sets up the forehand nicely, though. And the sixth seed on the board. Early game of peace. I talked about dad being caught side for Coco Goff as well, and also with her movement. Well, there's actually a, a message on her new shoes which says, You can change the world with your racket. Oh. 
15 love. Both players very outspoken in their activist ways off the court. Ball striking from both players. So we're going to want to be a tennis ball in this encounter. said before this match begun when you assess the three previous meetings first one Osaka played lights out to take the win the second one Coco Goff was exceptional in Australia in 2020 the third one really in truth both probably didn't find their A game signs are there early on aren't they that maybe this is the match where they both bring it Deep first serve from Osaka, and we are on serve so far. Number 41 in front, 2 1. Just the one game, so he's already dropped double the amount in this encounter, serving at 1 2. When set, 15 left. such a big ball. So as I say, that, that first strike, the ability to get an opponent on the stretch, so important. Saka just applauding that monstrous serve. growing up with the Williams sisters. Got asked at Wimbledon who has the best 
serve, forehand, backhand, who's the best mover, who's the best volleyer. Majority of the answers here, the set herself or Serena. Yeah. I kind of feel the serve is trending in the direction of Serena Williams' serve. And that is saying something. Because for me, that's the greatest ever serve there's been on the WTA circuit. Kukov said that herself. But it is a real weapon. It's good to see that Saka doesn't have any strapping on either of her legs as well. It hasn't often been the case this year. Saka targeting the forehand, but on that occasion, it held up for Goff. 15 off. And eventually got time to really wind up on her own forehand and made it count. Forehand from Goffer talked about the, the bigger loop of a take back. But it does get more revelations on the strike. Leans in. Smooth as you like oh, from yeah. Nomi Osaka. Wonderful timing here. Body weight going forwards. Crunch. I feel the uh, speed gun. It's a little out today. Looked a lot faster than 86 miles per hour. A little bit of luck. There's an American net favoring the American. News. point of well, this opening set flashy return from the sixth seed can't you find another the answer is no she can't because it's a superb serve from Naomi Osaka
advantage the gums. Second break point of the game for world number 11. Miss backhands proved costly for the former world number one. And his first blood to Coco Goff. Sixth seed breaks first for a 3 2 lead. Lovely message. Thanks for being you. Two players Thank who have inspired Thank you. so many on and off the court. Both so complimentary of each other before this match begun. Not only were they complimentary of each other's tennis, but as people. power of both of these players but there was subtlety to that forehand lightful angle from the American it's around the outside of the ball Third double already for Goff. Luckily, they've come early in the games. Should be a little concerned with the first serve percentage, only at 33% right now. She's doing very well when she is finding the first serve. Five from five now, points behind the first serve. Points one, that is. to have inspired so many on and off the court well, another inspirational sports star is in the house or in the uh, crowd anyway Brandy Chastain two time gold medal winner at the Olympics with uh, the US Holy soccer team funny. spoken out with her the fact she's now got like a sisterhood relationship with Chloe Kelly who just won the Euros for England. Iconic pictures of the shirt off. There's Goff. The game able to come through that service game. Goff leads by four games. Huge serves again. Talked about Naomi Osaka's dad relieving stress for her. Well, that serve is certainly a stress reliever for the sixth seed. who talked about wanting to have genuinely have fun she said that she wanted to have fun on the court a lot over the last couple of years but so genuinely wants to have fun I'm not sure how much she would have enjoyed the opening six games here and I'm just trying to get behind I've said this all week we've been incredibly respectful here in California Quite often, there's been more support for whoever's playing an American on this court. Oh, 
think a lot of that is due to the packed field we have here. So many superstars. Two superstars right now on this court. And that was a superstar forehand. Fifteen. Yeah, a little annoyed that second serve was quite short. All the momentum with Goff right now. She needs to take advantage of the fact that she's got the momentum right here. Let for service. Thirty fifteen. Using the R's. Sorry, fifteen. The Silicon Valley crowd. Starting to pick a first sub percentage up a socket. Not quite at fifty percent yet. Seen plenty of power in this matchup. A more delightful touch from Coco Goff. Played two drop shots. And there's now two from two. Again, getting Osaka on the back foot, getting herself inside the baseline. And that was just beautifully weighted. said earlier for me one of the keys to this match was how the goth forehand Here's would hold up with regard to the the power and the aggression into that wing from Osaka you have to say so far so very good for the sixth seed Yeah, a little too much on this one. Back at. I actually thought the play from Goff was pretty smart. Faked as if she was going to play the drop shot and then just kept the ball pretty low. But Osaka was ready for it, got low herself. Back 
rattled through the game. First game in four for Osaka. So able to stop the rot. Goffu leads by four games to three. Japanese player. As I say that, she'd like to be seated for the US Open. The new balls here for Goff. Team love. Osaka, 41 in the world. She would uh, go up to 38 if she was to lose this match, or, or there or there around. She would have to be inside the world's top 32 to guarantee being seated. Flushing Meadows. is a delight. Seen a couple of crackers, haven't we, from both of these players, the back end up the line. Any time on the ball, and they are making their opponent pay. Oh, talked about oh, the forehand would hold up, being pressurised. Was under pressure there. That was too much time. Smart serve. Nine out of the ten points when she's found the first serve. Both players still under 50% with the, the first serve percentage. A lot of love in the stadium tonight. Sasaka comes out to serve to stay in the first set. 3-5. And is on fire right now for Coco Goff. That's an absolute pearl. Difference 
be able to find the first server socket, similar to golf, making life a lot easier for herself. Golf only able to block it back. The reasons, one of the many, many reasons why you have to enjoy these two on a tennis court because they play so quick in between the points. It's been a bit of a whirlwind of the first set. Just the one break so far, and that is the difference. Golf leading 5-4. Serving for the set here. 5-4. 15 off. Third ace and just takes the pressure off, doesn't it? Such an important game. And then a fourth ace. First sort of percentage has got better and better as this set has gone on. Ambitious on that occasion. Encouragement from our coaching team. They're just trying to get the message. Has to play positive, expansive tennis against Osaka. Can't take her foot off the accelerator pedal. She made life very easy for herself in this game. Three aces. What a time to find three aces in a game. It brings up two set points. It's Coco Goff who is able to come through the opening set. Just the one breaker serve in it. Saka challenging here. In fact, she's gradually moving to the sit down means that it's more in hope than belief, and that's why. And so it is Coco Goff who has taken the opening set. I don't think Chanpai has quite worked it out yet. <laughs> well, I saw the mark being long. Adding to the suspense. There we go. Confirmation. And it is Goff who has taken the opener. And overall, found some big serves in some big moments. When 13 of 14 points behind her first serve. <laughs> I was just thinking. Well, no, it's Arka was thinking that. Why is she showing the ball? That usually means new balls. Pretty new ball, maybe one that hasn't been struck because new balls don't stay new for long when these two strike them. Really tough to analyze that the first set point of view it's just who's playing their a game a little better who's 
serving better. In the first set, it was Goff who did serve better. Saka, first serve percentage in set one was at 47%. So that needs to go up in second set. Compared to Naomi Osaka. That's why it's uh, the 18 year old who has the set lead, but Naomi Osaka ensuring she takes the first game for the second set. And here are the statistics, as I say, Osaka. A little disappointed with the first set percentage. You kind of feel the unforced errors. Compared to the winners, a little harsh, this Japanese player. It's because this player in your picture, such a good mover, so difficult to hit a winner past. Right anticipating two. Fifteen, love. Point in terms of that is golf tough to hit through, but just tough to draw a short ball from. I mean, that was fine hitting really from Osaka. Goff so athletic with her movement, and what I mean by athletic, I don't just mean how quick she is, but it's the core strength too. So tough to knock her off balance. Able to get that ball back into play. Here, there, everywhere. Coco Goff. He's just asking that one extra question every single time and quite often getting the answer that she wants. Secures the first service game. Her first service game in the second set. Game of peace. It's a fabulous point all round. Coco Goff, though, showcasing how she can turn defence into attack 15, in just a couple 30. of shots. Before all of that, it was another stunning get. That wasn't a bad get from Osaka. Nice racket head control. 
Goff had read the play. See that one go long this after, but at the start of the second set is showcasing just why those statistics look bad for Osaka. As in, for me, she's not playing that badly. She's unable to hit clean winners past Goff. Kind of feel the Americans also helped by the fact that it's a little cooler at night. Ball doesn't travel through the air as quick. Something that Goff said in round one, said she prefers to play at night for the atmosphere and it's a little more time to get to the balls. Oh, again. Feels like the level has gone up. Feels like Goff has got even more used to the, the weight of shot from Osaka. Turning the screw here is the 18-year-old. Just Phil Goff missed his trip there. Crunched her back and up the line, but then just stopped. And that almost enabled Osaka to turn the rally around. Yes. Brilliant conviction on both of these forehands from the Japanese player. Golf. Just wonder how costly that double fault could be. First of the match. And it gives Goff another break point. change of speed and spin works a dream for Coco Goff. He's playing such a high level right now. And she breaks early in the second set for a 2-1 lead. Reasons why when Goff first broke out onto the scene, everyone was tipping her to be a multiple Grand Slam champion. It's been slow but steady progress in the last few years. In the right direction. You just get the feeling she's starting to blossom into a, a real player. Of course, reaching her first Grand Slam final just a, a few weeks ago. Said so that only motivated her more watching Igor Sviontek lift the, the French Open trophy. Challenge the call, the right baseline. What a challenge! Close. Let's have a 
was close. And it was just long. 15 all. Ms. Goff has two challenges remaining. To the miss backhand by a whisker. 30 15. <laughs> so Sark has played this match in, in great spirit. Said she wants to have fun. It looks like she has, even though the scoreline's against her. That's exactly what you want to see from Osaka enjoying her tennis again. It's been a strange serving performance, hasn't it, from Goff? Because first serve per percentage has been a little up and down at times. He's now hit four double faults. More often than not, it's the first serve that has done so much damage. And one point behind the first serve, 18 from 19. And that stat continues to get better and better. And he's number seven. I think it was. Yeah. On the line. News. Ms. Goff has one challenge remaining. That's a little annoyed with herself for challenging in the first place. Times now for the slider out wide. Just wonder whether a circle will start edging that way. Difficulty is that Goff hits the, the T surf so effectively as well. Just like that. Backs up the break. And real intensity and focus from Goff this evening. Finishing line edging ever closer. Love fifteen to win, incidentally. Bottom three quarters of the draw are all seeds. Just be the, the, the top little section of the draw, top quarter. It could be an all American affair. Shelby Rogers got the better of Zachary earlier on this evening. Samova, winner of this one, takes on Paula Bedosa right at the bottom of the draw. Oh. Feeling this is a must-hold service game for Azaka. She hasn't broken the golf serve once, so to expect her to break it twice from here on out would be a big ask. Pretty good record as a front runner too, Koko Goff. The loose forehand. And it's got with two more break points.
has there been a better mover in the game? Again, an incredible get off the backhand side. Not only did she get there, able to play it with two hands on the racket, getting the angle, and Goff breaks again for a 4-1 lead second set. So both of these players play quick in between the points. They play quick in the points. Goff, though, with a very healthy lead now. Fifteen, love. Sure, I've seen this happen to Naomi Osaka on the court before. Like absolutely everything at Osaka, but the ball just keeps coming back. Eventually, able to find the way through. How hard is she having to win or work to win the point? Every time the double fault comes, there's that sort of reaction. Something that Osaka said before the match begun, talked about really the, the maturity and the level-headedness of, of Goff, how she's able to stay calm. The matches go up and down. She wasn't able to do. And that's how she is off the court as well. Such maturity there. So much pressure and expectation on her shoulders, but to say, I think certainly would take it as a huge plus each year, improve the rankings. Oh. That one flies long. All you can do is keep improving, and Coco Goff over the last few years you certainly has please. improved. I think many thought she's going to take the world by storm. Golf, last couple of years. As I say, trending very much in the right direction. And this, for me, would be almost a landmark win. The manner she's gone about it. Okay, Nomi Osaka's ranked 41 in the world, but she's still a four-time Grand Slam champion. Power that she possesses, I don't think she's even played that bad. It's the way that Goff has been able to deal with that pace and power that has been so impressive. Still work to do, though, for the 18-year-old. She's got to try and finish the match off. Fifteen. Just been a few too many unforced errors for Osaka. Uh, a twenty-second. Coco Goff. Might become a top 10 player with this win, but again is edging ever closer to that mark.
Just a sensational couple of forehands. The get was out of this world. To be able to redirect it and get Osaka on the move from that position is just insane. And it brings up three match points. Fifteen forty. Isn't done yet. Thirteen forty. Two match points saved, still one to negotiate. And it comes from Love 40 yes. to Juice. Scoreline as it was, set 5 1, love 40. Just have a swing. Fourth match point. Nerves there for Goff. Amazing what happens when a player gets to the finish line. Hasn't missed too many of those backhand returns throughout this match. days for Osaka. Well, is that the start of a monumental comeback from Naomi Osaka? Or is she just delaying the inevitable? Either way, able to save four break points, four match points, I should say, and recover some of the fans of both players in the crowd. A bit more pressure on this game here for Goff. Still has a very healthy lead. I just feel there was a couple of edgy moments on her match points in the previous game. It's not a start she would a surf she would have wanted either. What a gutsy second serve that is. 
15, love. Fifteen hours. If she's broken here, then suddenly we'll be looking at a very different match. So much damage to enable go off time on that forehand. 30 15. Double fault the game. As the tension builds. The, the baseline. baseline. That reaction tells you it the probably did. Challenging it anyway. It looked like it was going long and then dipped down at the last moment. And that's why. 30, Another lifeline oh, thrown the way of Osaka. Break point for the Japanese player. First time of the match, Coco Goff is broken. And now the comeback is on. You always get a sense in tennis matches. And then there's a momentum shift. And you just felt nervous points. And Coco Goff was up 40 love at 5 1. Just gave Osaka a sense. And now the body language is that much stronger from the former world number one. And the tension is there for Goff. Two double faults in that game. Game on again. Reinvigorated, but that's a top quality point from Goff. Love 15. Pulled it. Did well just to hang on in the point because Saka was hitting with great length.
just wild. Oh, How she would love to close it out here. Coco Goff and not have the stress of having to try and serve it out again. Fifth match point for the 18 year old. Challenging the goal on the left center serve. Well, it has missed. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on this second serve. She has found the line, it'll be a second ace. The second time she saved a match point with an ace. And it has indeed found the line. Most small margins in the Japanese players' way. It's a few more margins to go our way, though. Still facing match point. the first match point where Goff had a real chance at a second serve. She found a lot of excellent serves at match point down. Can she find one more? Done it again. Recovers from love. 40 down. And listen to the noise now. From 5-1 to 5-4, seven match points saved in the process. Twice coming from Love 40 down, and Osaka is within a game of Goff. Goff now leads, but it's a four. Late call, but it was long. Last time, double faulted at this point. Goff, there were two double faults in her last service game when serving for the match. It's not a, a reassuring first serve. Serve has been so dominant for Goff. Set up the first strike time and time again. What you know about it? Azaka is making more balls hit. I say, whole body language has changed. Real belief. Thirty fifteen. That's not a bad idea from Goff. Just to let out a bit of that tension. Never look right. Achilles heel. 
Yes, a conserve and in these pressure moments, those areas of technical issues can often rear their ugly head. Goes to a nice, comfortable set play, though. 40, 30. Showing great maturity there, Goff. Didn't try and overcomplicate things, just uses the slider serve that she loves so much. Forehand up the line. And it's got it to an eighth match point. The first one on her serve. Second service. Vantage court side, really struggling with the serve. Gets over the line in the end. And overall, that is a statement performance from Coco Goff. She went the scenic route from 5-1, love 40 up in the second set. Took until her eighth match point. But despite all that, you'd have to say it was a wonderful...